Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh, Italian. U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. St. Clair Healthcare. Offering 32 medical specialists and only one priority. You. Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Doing business with a handshake and a promise. Eagle Finance. Loans made easy. Payments made affordable. Holbrook's Embroidery, serving our community for nearly two decades. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the Moorhead State Eagles. Major Brands Tire and Auto, service you can trust. Green Tree Forest Products, a leading producer of Appalachian hardwood lumber. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. And by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Hi, everyone, and welcome in to a brand new season of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the campus of Moorhead State University and the Academic Athletic Center, as always back for a second full season of the show as the head coach Preston Spradlin and uh, coach it's been a good start to the season a tough road trip and uh, I'll tell you what you guys had a good showing we did you know uh, obviously started off with four of our first five on the road uh, we had the opportunity to open up here at home against Kentucky Christian and, and got a win there and then we began uh, logging a lot of miles throughout the country so we got up the next morning flew early to uh, UConn played a really good UConn team up there played them tough I was really proud of our guys and then you know about 48 hours later made about a four-hour bus trip to Syracuse to the the Carrier Dome to play the Orange up there, and again a good showing by our, by our guys. And you know those two games, a good opportunity to play on a big stage, play against some size, some length, a couple uh, different styles of play that we'll see later in our league that got us prepared for that. But really proud of our guys with their effort, and then coming back home, and then uh, making the trip out west, all the way out to the uh, to the West Coast to the state of Washington to play two tough games out there. Believe it or not, this is the 13th year for our TV show here at Moorhead State University with men's basketball. Of course, it all started back in the day with Donnie Tindall and then Sean Woods and now Preston Spradlin, so it's been my honor to sit in this chair with some great coaches. But the reason this happens now is because the, the, the partnership that we have with local businesses here in Moorhead, West Liberty, and the surrounding area. And Preston, we want those businesses to know how much they're appreciated because not only did virtually everyone come back for another season, but also we have some new sponsors. We do, and I just think it's special. We talk about it on the show all the time of our community's commitment, okay? And I just think that that's really what makes Moorhead State special, and that's what makes this job special, and I'm very fortunate to be setting here and and you know we're proud to represent our sponsors and we're proud of what they offer to us in our basketball program and again they just they afford our program and our student athletes the opportunities to do things that we otherwise would not be able to do and then obviously the exposure piece and you know we want people to know that you know it is one town one team and um, and, and that our community has great buy-in and what we're doing and we've got a wonderful community wonderful people terrific businesses and we want to make sure that we're showcasing that along with our basketball product each and every week Stay with us when we come back. Highlights of Moorhead State's game against the Yukon Huskies. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Green Tree Forest Products in Wallingford pays top prices for saw logs and standing timber. We produce 25 million board feet of Appalachian hardwood lumber annually and manufacture custom hardwood and pine pallets. We've also teamed up with Robinson Stave and are ready to offer top prices for Stave Locks. Green Tree is owned and operated by the third and fourth generations of the J.C. Wells family. For 65 years, our commitment to quality and unsurpassed customer service is stronger than ever. We welcome your business at Green Tree Forest Products. 
At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple, loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $3,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance or visit us online at eagle.com. Dr. Mary Phillips is one of the most compassionate, kindest doctors that I know. Dr. Phillips is a very caring person. She's one of the surgeons that you want to call on. St. Clair provides the much needed medical help not only for Round County, but for the adjoining counties around us. St. Clair is one of the best things that have ever happened to our region. Hi, I'm Glenn Sorrell, Major Brands Tire and Automotive Service. Major Brands is the top selling tire dealer and auto repair shop in Moorhead and Mount Sterling. We carry all the major brands with more than 1,600 tires in stock. Check out our easy online catalog to find the perfect tire for your car or truck. Our certified technicians are well qualified to service your vehicle, including brakes, tune-ups, alignments, custom wheels and tires, and much more. Major Brands is a proud supporter of Coach Bradley and Moorhead State Basketball. Go Eagles! This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. Preston, <laughs> it, just going right into the fire, Moorhead State at UConn. Yeah, you know, uh, tough environment. They had a sellout crowd there and uh, at their on-campus arena, and so really fun for our guys to play on that big stage. And you see there, I thought uh, I thought AJ Hicks was was absolutely terrific with his floor game that night, and then you see him get an assist to Davon Cooper, and again right there, huge play. That's uh, not giving up on a play. That's a missed field goal, continuing to battle. Uh, AJ nice pass to Jimon. We talk about never missing it short, so we have the opportunity to rebound shots like that. And then that just gives me the opportunity to talk about this guy right here, man. Lamontre Harris has been absolutely terrific. He's just been super consistent um, in playing a great floor games. He's scoring the ball for us, but he's doing that right there. He's at almost 12 rebounds a game right now, five games into the season, and that one kind of set the tone for us there. And so here you see, uh, you know, UConn, great defensive team. They make it really hard to run your offense. Offense. Um, they're going to get out and deny wings and they're going to pressure. So it changes the way you play just a little bit. I told our guys it's a player's game. You know, you've got to make plays. And so we talk about a first and second cut action all the time. That right there is what you're seeing. Okay, we all want to move when the ball is being driven. Then when the ball stops, we want to make a second cut. And so this is what you're seeing right now on all of these plays right here. Uh, this isn't this isn't me calling a play. This is these guys doing the things that we work on and a good inside out three right there. Again, Lamar. Montre, we talk about flooding and wedging on the uh, weak side, the offensive glass, and you see him doing both of those things right there. Uh, nice job right here executing. We talk about getting our head under right there. Davon really low sweeps that ball. Again, moving without the ball is something we got to do. And uh, I think um, I thought Malik might have carried this arm into the uh, in the locker room there, holding that thing up. But. <laughs> Again, great job there, AJ. I, I felt like uh, UConn could not keep him out of the lane, and he did a great job getting in there. Here we are in transition. You know, James Baker getting out, running the floor for us, getting an and one and finishing that. James had a really good second half. He struggled in the first half. He made some great plays, but just against their length, struggled to finish inside, and then uh, came up with some big plays, scored 10 points in the second half. You see five of them right there, back to back. And uh, he just he did a terrific job coming in off the bench and playing for us. Again, you see the, the pressure, the contact there. AJ's got to play through that all night long. Uh, finds a Lamontre. Lamontre again, his shot selection was really good. You know, we forced the time out there, cut it to eight. And, um, you know, I just I was really pleased with our guys because these are the types of games when the team makes a big run like that, you know, it, it can get from 12 to 18 to 25 really quickly. But we stuck together. We stuck to the script. We shared the ball. We worked to get great shots. And the result of that is we just kept battling and we kept the, kept the game close. Again, you see here, look at that second cut action. AJ getting in there to two feet, shifting the defense with a, with a pass fake. And that's the stuff that we've really been working on with him. He's obviously a blazing quick player, but plays like that. There's a lot of work that goes in by our staff and our kids 
is to make vision plays like that. And I just think that I'm glad you got that on there, Dave, because it's a terrific, terrific play. Uh, Lamontre, again, you, you've seen him score in the post. You've seen him hit threes. You've seen him isolated in the high post. And uh, that's what he's got to be. It's what he's got to be for us. You know, kind of a tough one right there, but he got in a little bit of a rhythm. We needed a basket. And that's what great players do. They go and they score one for you. Uh, again, A.J. two feet. There's that second cut action we talk about with Davon. He drifted. Then he came back once the ball was stopped and, uh, and got a really easy basket for us. Out in transition right here. That's just us sharing the ball. That's, that's beautiful basketball. Pitching it ahead. We always want to advance the ball. All right, passing up a good shot to get a great one. And uh, you can see, obviously, that the Huskies weren't happy going to the timeout, that, that we weren't going away. And I just think that's a testament to our kids and their buy-in that they have for they're believing in what we're doing right now, believing in each other, and just staying, staying with us, you know, sticking to the scout, sticking to the script, doing what we want to do, playing Moorhead State basketball. And the result of that, we can live with. If it's a 10-point loss, we'll certainly live with that. Absolutely. After the game, a four-hour bus ride to Syracuse to play the Orangemen. Those highlights are next right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking with a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to come and bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best. The Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy our delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with trademark honey butter rolls, the best bucket of peanuts in town, and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogenhofer, and I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here in Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Larry Fannins and Moorhead is celebrating 69 years and we do business the old-fashioned way with a handshake and a promise. Larry has more than 350 vehicles in stock from budget busters and certified pre-owned to the newest offerings from GM. All of our new models include a lifetime powertrain warranty and our certified vehicles come with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. I'd love for everyone to stop by and see us at Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. Preston, not an easy place to play. The Carrier Dome, Syracuse. Absolutely, 21,000 strong there that night. Uh, just a different environment. They played football there for you know 24 hours before we did, and so uh, they flipped it over and got ready for some basketball. And so uh, right off the bat, you see one of our first highlights here, David, is uh, just we want to beat the zone up the floor. The only way you do that is you have good defense and you create offense off of your defense. Um, and we were able to do that. You saw Malik Riddle in the first play. Malik Green right there. Uh, playing behind that zone. Uh, AJ did a terrific job playing off his shot fake. This is a game where you really got to share the ball. You got to, you know, there's not a, we, we've got a, a pretty extensive zone playbook going into this game and uh, everybody does. But at the end of the day, when the play breaks down, you just got to make plays. You've got to stay aggressive and that's exactly what you're seeing from someone like Jordan Walker right there who had a terrific game. Uh, same thing here, Jordan, shot fake, two feet, getting in there. That's a big time play, especially against the side size and length that Syracuse has with a seven foot two player in the middle, six nine, six eight on the wings. Again, 
Great play there. Davon finds uh, Lamontre. We call that a crab dribble underneath that closes his shoulders from the defense. And then a hammer pass right there to, uh, to Jordan Walker. Uh, again, sharing the ball. And you see, hello. That's what we call that. We call that the hello drill. Uh, we work on it where uh, guys like Lamontre are, are uh, you know, pursuing the ball coming off the glass like that. And these are almost back-to-back -back plays that you see. Again, getting offense off of our defense. Again, just thought our guys did, a, did an unbelievable job. Um, again, look at that. They, you know, we talk about getting in there, playing off two feet. There's the pivot that you see from Lamontre. Uh, pass faking, freezing the defense. There's another one from AJ. Two feet, kick, second cut, bang. I mean, this was uh, this was fun to watch for our guys. And you know, give Syracuse credit. They made big runs on us, but then the crowd got involved. But we, our guys, just didn't worry about it. They kept playing, kept battling. You know, there's Lamontre scoring it over a seven foot two defender, which we're obviously not going to see too many times this year. So. That's a, a certainly a positive. AJ pushing in transition. Uh, that's what we want to see. We want to see him do that every possession, make or miss. How far will the defense allow you to push that ball? Uh, another one here, Lamontre just staying with it. Uh, terrific effort play right there. I was really, really proud of him on this road trip that he played well. Uh, advancing the ball here. All right, loose ball comes up. Just making the extra pass, finding Jordan, who was obviously hot during this game and, and got a great rhythm. Look at that pass. Underneath Malik using, you know, again, that crab dribble that we talked about. We work on it using the rim in that instance to uh, shield the shot blocker and protect a great a great play inside right there. Again, I mean, there's really not too many teams that, that put up 70 points against that Syracuse zone. I had an interview with some with some TV folks on the way up there and, and three different uh, media people mentioned to me how hard it may be to shoot in the dome. And I said, listen, you guys don't talk about that. Don't mention it to my players because we have the mindset that we're going to shoot it well in that. And so we went to shoot around the next day and Coach Lombardi and I jumped out there and we started splashing threes uh, before while the guys were getting dressed and getting loose and talked a little trash to them and so that got them inspired and then they came out and they knew that they could shoot the ball well despite being in the dome and uh, again in that type of game David the thing you're most proud of is when a team makes a big run they push it out you do a lot of things right but their length and athleticism sometimes takes over they just make tough shots uh, and that crowd gets involved the tendency is human nature is that it, we're going to break apart from one another and we're going to try to go score and do things out of the element of of, of what we work on. I was really pleased with our guys that we didn't do that. We stuck together, we played together, we worked, we passed up good shots to get great shots. You, you hear a lot of the terminology and, and skills and, 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 and small things that we work on on a daily basis carrying over to a game like that. And then the result is you, you have a good outcome. Coming up in our next segment, a brand new feature called the Full Court Press featuring WKYT news anchor Amber Philpott. We're both looking forward to that. She's going to have an interview with Jordan Walker next. Stay right here. Inside Moorhead State Basketball, we'll be right back. Holbrook's Embroidery Plus has been family owned and operated for nearly two decades. And we're proud to serve our friends and neighbors in Rowan and surrounding counties. We do embroidery, screen printing, vinyl, sublimation, and corporate apparel, sports jerseys, and so much more. We offer fast turnaround with top quality and customer service. We're conveniently located in downtown Moorhead. We're a community leader and proud supporter of local athletics. So come visit us and see what everyone's talking about at Holbrook's Embroidery Plus. First National Bank welcomes you to visit our newest location at 200 Viking Drive where you'll find the best customer service. Bankers hours? What's that? Our full service bank is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, 9 to noon on Saturdays, and bank till 6 on Fridays. We're proud to be a part of this community and support Coach Preston Spradlin and the Moorhead State Eagles. Hi, I'm Kevin Anderson, Vice President and Branch Manager, asking you to come be part of a growing family at First National Bank. Hello, I'm Gary Markham with Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We have over 4,000 vehicles to choose from, offering new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford, all with a lifetime limit of powertrain warranty. For more than 20 years, Tim Short has been serving your friends and neighbors in the Kentucky area. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction here in Moorhead, Kentucky. We are Tim Short Auto Group. Eagle Trace Golf Course is one of Kentucky's finest. 
nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead. The unique and challenging course offers year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, and a covered pavilion perfect for great outings. We're proud to be the home course of the Moorhead State University men's and women's golf teams. I'm Bill Redwine and I invite you to join us at Eagle Trace Golf Course or visit us online at moreheadstate.edu slash eagletrace. The Full Court Press with Amber Philpott is sponsored by U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. Hey there, this is the Full Court Press. I'm Amber Philpott, a proud MSU alum. Not usually the person that's in this seat, but we're gonna have some fun with it today. I'm joined by junior Jordan Walker. Jordan, first of all, thanks for sitting down with us. You just came off a really great game, 24 points against Syracuse in the Carrier Dome. Pretty cool experience, huh? Yeah, I would never imagine playing in a football stadium. And especially going in there and thinking about the alumni that came out of there, Carmelo Anthony got the coach Jim Bayhoff. So it was just, it was a very good experience. But, uh, yeah. I hear that coach came in, put up a few shots just to kind of show you all that all oh, this is nothing. Yeah, he could shoot quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, he, he was getting some shots up. Is he pretty good? Yeah. Still? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. You are from Indianapolis, um, kind of a, a trip trip away from Moorhead. Um, do your family? Do they get down and get to see you quite a bit? Yeah, my parents, my mother and father come to mostly all the home games and some road games. That has to be important to you. Talk to me about just having them here. Yeah, I just I have a great support system. Even though my sisters aren't able to come to every game, they still try to make them make to make a couple mm -hmm. just just to come support. So you've got how many older sisters? Three older sisters. Oh boy, and then you're the baby? Yeah, I'm the baby. Oh boy. I'm, I, can, I can only imagine what it was like in that household with three girls and then uh, you. They were being jealous because they said I was spoiled. Oh, it's okay, I'm an only child, I'm spoiled in a good way. Um, talk to me just about how important, though. you said you have a great support system. I'm guessing most athletes, when you start young and you make it to this level, you've had them along the way with you every single step of the way. Talk to me about that. You know, growing up, I always watched them play basketball too. They always play basketball. And even one even played in college. So. Being able to see them while I was growing up, it just showed them how a support system really helps. And then they flip the switch and it's back on me now. And I have four nieces and nephews and they all support too. That's awesome. I guess I should ask who who's who's better now? Sisters, you? Me, for sure. <laughs> good answer, good answer. You know, playing basketball at this level, um, I know if you are smaller and that's your dream, you know, sometimes people make it, sometimes they don't. You clearly made it. What what kind of drew you to Moorhead State? I just felt comfortable. I came on my official visit and I just, I love the vibe here. and Everybody's nice talking to you and I just felt like I could be here and it can be a home for the next four years. Does it feel special to you to be in a small town where, you know, this is something that the community, they can come over and they can support and it's kind of a big deal when there's basketball going on here? Yeah, I love, I love how it's a small area so you can't be in any trouble. All you can do is really play basketball and go to school. Talk to me about um, the greatest influence in your life. What has that been? My greatest influence is probably my mother. That's my motivation and influence, mm -hmm. just because I've seen her work very hard and seeing how hard work gets you to a very, very good place. So. Yeah, what she instilled in you, that hard work? Just yes, ma'am. You just put it in? Mm -hmm. And being a family person. She does everything for the family and loves to see us do good. So. You're coming off these two losses, Syracuse, UConn. What gets you motivated to get back out there? And I feel like we have a, just a team has a chip on our shoulder, especially coming from a season like last year. We got a lot to prove, so that motivates me a lot to just come out there and show everybody what we can do. Uh, favorite player? Damian Lillard. Why? Because I feel like we have like a similar type game, mm -hmm. uh, and he's he doesn't get rattled when it's like the show is on. So I like. I like the way you play. Sure. When you're not in the gym, what do you do? Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Now, you're a college kid. You've got a lot of practice. I'm sure coach puts you through the ringer, so sleep is good. All right. Jordan Walker, Jr. here. Man, have a good rest of the Thank season. You. I appreciate it. Light it up out there for us. All right. This has been the Full Court Press. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating more than 40 years as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. 
Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take great pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. My name is Jack Rowe with Rowe Insurance Agency. We have been in the insurance business for over 50 years. We have a multitude of companies that can provide for you a comprehensive insurance plan at a reasonable price. We welcome your business and we will treat you like family here at the Rowe Insurance Agency. Hi, I'm Brock Little, Vice President of Commercial Bank in West Liberty. For more than 100 years, we've prided ourselves in treating our customers like family. The technologies we offer afford you the ability to bank with us from anywhere. I'm Howard Elam, President of Commercial Bank. Thank you for trusting us with your banking needs. Welcome back in as we wrap things up here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball and Preston. What a performance against Missouri Kansas City as you guys played up in Washington State. Three point line was unbelievable. Great shooting by your team. We, we shot it really, really well. And it's obviously something you're not going to do every single game, but you're certainly happy when you do do it. Thought we got good shots. We played with great confidence. We found guys when they were hot, when they were in a rhythm. And, uh, you know, we've said it on the show before, shooting is contagious one way or the other. Sometimes you're not shooting it well, and that can be contagious. You have to find a way to break out of it. But certainly when it's contagious, when that ball's going in, you got to capitalize on it. And so really, really pleased with our guys. They had a lot of fun. And that the, really the game started with our defense. We were getting stops, making them take tough shots. We were in the gaps, getting steals, deflections, getting offense off of our defense. And then that really softened things up and allowed us to dictate the tempo of the game. And so, uh, again, that was another one that we were kind of preparing for all year with like our early morning practices because we played at 2 o'clock local time out there. For a 2 o'clock game on the road, you don't oftentimes do a shoot around. But our guys were up anyway because of the time difference, because of how we prepared this year. So we got up. We had one of our better shoot arounds of the year. Our energy, our focus, our effort, our shooting was there and it carried over to the game and what was a, what was a fun atmosphere and a fun win for our guys against KC. The final score 99 to 89 that included a 62 point first half. Yeah we, uh, we got going. We got going there and, and uh, again it was fun to watch for our guys and it's fun for me as a coach sometimes you just sit back and I guess the things that you work on especially when you when you're really rolling and you're clicking and you're playing with great precision offensively those are things you work on and and, and when you see the uh, the result of that in the game, it's it's really fun to watch. Sit back and watch your kids, and, and it's fun to be a part of. You're watching this show on Sunday afternoon, which means the Eagles are at home today. Big time game against Lipscomb at 2 o'clock. It's about 1.30 right now, so you've still got a half hour to get down here to the arena. And Preston, we need Eagle Nation here to support your team. We certainly do. This is a terrific Lipscomb team that went to the NCAA tournament last year. I think they have 12 returning players, six seniors on their roster. They're picked to win their league, certainly. And uh, they're going to play a fun brand of basketball. This will be a battle for 40 minutes here. Uh, this afternoon and we certainly need everybody to be here to witness it, to be a part of it, help cheer on our team and give us a home court advantage against a very good Lipscomb team. Thank you so much for watching this week and on behalf of the Eagle basketball coach Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick and we look forward to seeing you back here next week on the CW Lexington for Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball has been brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh, Italian, U.S. Bank, all of us serving you, St. Clair Healthcare, offering 32 medical specialists and only one priority, you, Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, doing business with a handshake and a promise, Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Holbrook's Embroidery, serving our community for nearly two decades. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the Moorhead State Eagles. Major brands, tire and auto, service you can trust. Green Tree Forest Products, a leading producer of Appalachian hardwood lumber. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience.
Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Stand for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll. And by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide.